I took a deliberate play approach. Deliberate play is do exactly what you did before, but just improv a tiny little bit on top of it. I knew there were gonna be a couple tricks where like the first time I threw a 180, you're going to have to land backwards. Like as soon as I landed backwards, my body knew what to do. Yeah. Like it was a very weird thing because I was so terrified of it. And like it was my body actually knew what to do. And that was, it was a lot of stuff like that along the way where like I'd have to push. But I was doing it in such a way that like what I was finding on the other side of the pushing, which was new for me, was something I could build upon rather than something like, oh, wow, that's too hard. It's unattainable. This was, I can work with this. And, and that was the fun of it. To suddenly find yourself at 53 years old, getting better at a sport like park skiing was nuts. Like it was, the, it was so, it's that not, was it, that That's was not so supposed fun. to belong to 53. The real thing that was interesting is, that was really where the book, one of the places the book started is, there was all these theories out of, Network neuroscience, neural dynamics, but how the network level of the brain works. Embodied cognition, which is basically the science of like, hey, we're not just heads on sticks. Our brains are actually embedded in the bo yeah. in our bodies, right? Yeah. Old dogs should be able to learn new tricks. Like all this idea that old dogs can't learn new tricks. It's like I'm reading theory after theory, and it's all saying this. If you put these things together, this should work. And <laughs> park screen was a great test. There are... 12 or 13, 14 different reasons that it's biologically supposed to be impossible for anybody over the age of 35 or 40 to learn how to park skate. Right. It was a bunch of scientists in labs all over the world who did the actual, like... They weren't doing 180s and 360s. They did not Where's put it to the test. Yes, it, Don't it be modest. It annoys me. Oh, Just sorry. fucking brag. They're going, no, I hear you. Like, when you're skiing, when you're park skiing, it's kind of hard not to do it full. Some of those things, like... If you chicken out last minute, it's no, you it's don't. Problematic. You, you actually can't. Yeah, right. you have to. You do have to. And a lot of those things, you do have to commit. And the one thing that I've definitely learned, and I've learned it again coming back into this season. It's day six of the season. You have to relearn your tricks, yeah. and you fool yourself. I've been fooling myself trying to relearn them slowly. You know what happens when you try to relearn a park trick slowly? You fall down. <laughs> yeah, you fall down. Yeah, and it freaking hurts. Yeah. yeah. yeah.